I've been painting for around six months now and I'm going to show you two models here. I want you to guess how long each one took to paint. First up, I've got this crisis suit which is more of a recent project which I've just finished up. And then I've got these fire warriors which are one of the first things I painted in the Tau army. Well, this crisis suit just took me one hour from start to finish including the basing. And these fire warriors, they took me five hours. Now this isn't to make out that I'm some sort of high-end painter. The point I'm trying to make is you'd be hard pressed to find a difference between those two models on the tabletop, but the unit of 10 fire warriors took me 50 hours in total and I did not enjoy spending that long painting them up. With six months under my belt now in this hobby, there are three mistakes that I've realized I've been making and they're things I wish I had noticed earlier in the hobby because I'm now having way more fun than I ever had actually painting on my miniatures. They look way better on the tabletop when I'm playing with my friends and overall it's just making my experience a lot more enjoyable. The first thing that's been hindering my painting is worrying way too much about making mistakes and then being surgical when actually getting paint on models. For example, I like to do an all over wash on a lot of my models before painting in the details as you can see me doing here on my Crute Hound. In the past I've spent way too long being timid with my washes and worrying about them pooling up in the wrong places. More recently, I've not worried about that and just focused on getting it all over the model as quickly as possible. You don't need to get the wash perfect on the first pass. What I do instead now is just dry my brush off and then suck up all of that excess pooling. It's a lot quicker to get the washes down and it makes me enjoy the process a lot more as well. When it comes to painting details, I was trying to be way too surgical with how I'm applying my paint. So you can see here I'm just going really slow to make sure I don't get any excess paint in the wrong areas. However, for me I've realized I much prefer to get the coats down quickly rather than spending too long being really precise. It's really easy to go in afterwards and just tidy up any areas where I got paint in the wrong place. The second mistake I've been making on my journey so far is not batch painting and instead painting a single model at a time. It's way quicker when you've got a color on the palette to carry on using that color across five or 10 models compared to switching colors out and fully painting one model from start to finish. It allows you to really get into a flow, so you can see here on my Crute Hounds, I got all of the base coating done on the bodies first. I then moved on to do all of the leather harnesses in one go. And then finally move on to all of the metallic details so I can do them in one pass. It also means models can be drying too, so by the time you get all the way around to your first model again, that model's fully dry and you're ready to go with the next part of the process. One word of caution though is don't do too many at once because it can feel like a never ending process. For me, the sweet spot seems to be around five to 10 models at a time. Anything above that and it feels like a never ending convey about of models that I'm never going to get to the end of. Talking about doing things in batches, why not hit the like button for me and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button too. It means a huge amount for a small channel like mine. The final mistake I've been making over the past six months is not taking the time to paint up a test model before batch painting. A test model is one in your unit or even your army that you paint from start to finish first before you do anything else. That way you can see if you like the paint scheme that you're trying, you can see where the problematic areas are in the models and just make sure you get that out of the way so it doesn't surprise you when you move on to batch painting. As an example, here's the first group hound that I painted up and I did it with black spikes and a brown leather harness. Once it fully dried, I really didn't like how the spikes looked with all of the black on them. Now, if I was batch painting 10 of these at once, it would mean I'm batch fixing 10 mistakes as well, which obviously slows the process down, which isn't fun. 
What it meant with my Crute Hounds is I instead did brown spikes on them and a black harness, and I was much happier with this look and feel. It also allowed me to recognize where the problem areas are so I could paint those first on the future models and not worry about getting paint in the wrong places. So there we have it. Those are the three things that have really been slowing me down in my first six months in the hobby. They're not major things and definitely nothing serious, but by focusing on fixing them, my speeding has sped up significantly and I'm having a much more fun time now when I sit down to paint miniatures. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I really think you'll like this one next where I got over my fear of painting miniatures. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.